Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Climb Adventure Rally jacket and pant, available at Revzilla.com. So at a glance, the Adventure Rally pant is the complement for the Adventure Rally jacket, completely redesigned. There are many people calling it the Adventure Rally 2. It's just the successor. It's the second generation of the Adventure Rally pant. And remember, if you're looking at this outfit, Watch our full detail breakdown of the jacket that goes with it. If we look at the Adventure Rally, it's truly a four season, aggressive adventure riding, whatever mother nature can throw at it, shell. It's one of the most protective pants that we've ever seen developed for motorcycle riding. And because it's Gore-Tex Pro Shell, it's going to be four season, waterproof, but also very breathable. And the nice part, when I get into some of the vent configurations here on the new Adventure Rally pant, you're going to see that you're gonna, you have the ability to really breathe well in the summer. And then depending on the base layers you might add to it, you can stretch it as far as you want in the winter. Climb typically at this level of pant, or any garment for that matter, is going to design for modular capability. So you're buying a extreme technical protective shell that's going to give you blocking from other nature, encompass a new, newer styles of armor, but then it will also allow you to add whatever base layers are most appropriate to go underneath. Now, key changes moving forward into 2013. The fit is totally different. Peter's six foot, he's 195. He's about a 34 to 36 inch waist. He's wearing a size 36 because Peter has pretty big legs. You'll notice the cut. Similarly on the jacket, what they've done, they've made it a more articulated, a more svelte cut moving forward. And keep in mind, if you're curious about fit, no restock fees if you need to send it back to us. Also on that same note, if we look at it, the other big changes moving into 2013 are the protection. Now Climb is using Gore-Tex, or it's using Armacore, which is Aramid and Cordura, for the entire main construction of the pant. You'll see stretch Gore-Tex in the crotch as well as the seat, which is a nice touch for comfort. And then additionally, in our super fabric panels, they're now Gore they're super fabrics talisman dot, which is a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more breathable, a little bit more flexible in the way it hangs versus the Penta, which is a pentagram style shaped ceramic plate that they had in the previous version. Climb really found that a lot of the feedback they were getting were for guys that, you know, the original Adventure Rally was built for two weeks of Dakar straight, you know, the most gnarly of the gnarly. But what they wanted to do was design a pant that was a little more functional if you're going on a day or two ride as well. So what they've done is they've made it a little bit more flexible, it hangs on the body, it fits a little bit more comfortable, and typically it's going to be lighter weight. Another quick note on, on protection, and it's really not a quick note at all. Climb is now using D3O Zergo Armor which has the highest rating from any of the knee, shoulder, armor, hip standpoint of things for, for armor that's not back armor. It's, it complies with what they're believing to be the new CE standard that should be rolled out within the, last, the next couple years. You see it in the hip, you see it in the knees, which are adjustable three inches up and down or one inches side to side, 23 millimeters thick, and it still has the molecular property of D3O to where you introduce shock and it's gonna become rigid and disperse the energy. But the nice part about the Zergo, and it's the Zergo Evo XT, which stands for extreme temperature, is it retains all of its comfort as well as safety properties all the way down to zero Celsius. Now, Peter, if you turn and face away from me, notice the side profile in the pant. You still have a big pocket here, you notice that all of these zippers are using what are called AquaGuard Vizlon zips. So it's an asymmetrical zipper that has the highest degree of water resistancy, although the pant is completely waterproof in and of itself. Looking here along the front though, you have a 14 inch intake zipper on the thigh and a six or seven inch exhaust zipper on the back that's gonna allow full air, throw th air flow through the pant. Now turn towards me, Peter. We look at where that airflow, nope, I want you to face forward. If you look at where the airflow might come in, there's an area on top of the knee that's actually now, with regard to protection, using, using Dow Deflexian armor, which is the same that they use at the sternum in the jacket, and it starts at the top of the knee and it moves up. Because what they were finding in a lot of scenarios, with a pant like this, you're riding standing up, and if you, have a tr if you get into trouble, you may go over the bar. So they're giving you top of the thigh protection by using the Deflexian armor, which is a honeycomb weave that has some thickness to it, but what it also does is it promotes airflow throughout the garment. And that's how I kind of waited to get into the, to the Deflexian as we were talking about the ventilation, because it's as much, it's as much for protection as it is for ventilation. Also, one of the things you're going to notice is that with all of these zippers, they all now have a, have a rain gutter that's done in Gore-Tex behind them that allows any water that might seep through a zipper, even a AquaGuard zipper, to then be channeled down and exit through the bottom of a zip. So again, a really nice touch. Move and face away from me, Peter. The other thing I want to call out, and you heard me talk about this if you watched the jacket video, 
is the type of reflective they're doing. Klein is adding, they've moved away from reflective piping, they're now using reflective tape or reflective strip, and it's all 3M Scotchlight. And what they've done is they've really focused on torsos and extremities. So they wanna make sure that the pant and jacket together, when they're hit with the high beams or with a car headlight or a bike headlight, really illustrate the movement and the positioning of a humanoid form. Because tests have shown that if you are, if a person sees a figure that's being reflected back to them in a human form, they're going to react more quickly, slow down more quickly, and again, give you the best chance to be safe. Now turn and face backwards, Peter. Quick note on the seat. It's not a quick note at all. Armacore throughout the seat, double layer. Ripstop, Gore-Tex stretch material along the yoke. This is to make sure that you have good movement without getting plumber's crack, for lack of a better term. Notice moving up into the area around the hips, there's full adjustability using real go or Velcro. And then in the seat, you're going to have an accordion panel that goes up, and it's a bit high, higher waisted than it's been in previous models. The other piece that you realize here with the Adventure Rally in this newer form is they're using Poron XRD, which is a dense memory foam, in the seat along the tailbone. During product testing, they were going to use the D3O Zergo, but they found that when you're sitting on it, it gets too hard over time. So you went to a dense memory foam that would, that would contour to your body and feel a little better. Other things to notice within the seat and within like the underside of your uh, more crotch area, for lack of a better term, there's a double layer of mesh in the pant. And what that's done is to promote airflow, promote breathing on the areas that are gonna be contact points and pressure points with your bike. If you come down to the outside of the back of the pant, you notice very simple construction from a cuff design, rain gutter that goes all the way down to promote the waterproof or retain waterproofedness, and then you have a heavy duty panel that's able to be cinched down. Now these are CD Adventure Gore-Tex boots. Notice the buckle configuration. Climb is using Cordura 500D in this pant so to promote the ability for the, bu for the buckles on your Adventure boots to not wear through. That's something people don't realize. A lot of times when you have an off-road, like a CD Crossfire, CD Adventure Gore-Tex, TCX X-Desert, the buckle configuration on weak material on the inside of a cuff could really eat through the entire leg from the inside out over time. The pants on these and the cuffs are designed to take that abuse, but also give you enough room in the knee that if you want to add a knee guard that's going to interface with your adventure boot, you're also going to have enough room for that as well. And you can see the articulation, the way the seams are laid out along the side, along the back. Again, it's thought out. It's taken from the feedback on the original Adventure Rally pants. Turn face the front for me, Peter. Now looking on his left thigh, this pocket here, that is absolutely a spot tracker pocket. And the reason why it's put in that place is because through testing, we know that spot trackers do better horizontally and when the top of them is facing the sky. So they wanted to place the spot tracker pocket, which is removable, in an area on the pants to get the best reception and the best ability to keep you safe and to relay your position. Also, as I start to climb back up, you're going to notice that we're using the same leather as we did that's over top of the Gore-Tex membrane to add durability, heat shielding, as well as light grip to the inside of the pants to ensure that this super fabric's not going to bite any of the plastics on your bike. At the crotch, it's a double snap. There's a gusset behind, behind the uh, fly. There are two snaps on the inside, or both front and back, that you'd be able to attach zippers to. And notice, even with the shock cord, that's something that Climb does a lot, knowing that you're gonna, you could stretch us into a lot of different types of power sports. On the Adventure Rally, they will have a interior money belt with a hideaway zipper, so you get a few hundred dollars in and around the waist, knowing that there were a lot of these guys taking the original Adventure Rally around the world, and the hidden pockets, just like the hidden passport pocket on the jacket, will allow you to have some money for when you're crossing the border if you, if you end up in a shakedown, depending on where you're traveling and depending on how gnarly of a condition it is. So keep in mind on fitment, as I mentioned before with Peter's fit, it's a changed fit, but it shouldn't be terribly difficult and there are tall sizes available as well for $20 more for the pants on the Adventure Rally. You can buy the Climb Adventure Rally pant at revzilla.com slash climb. You can click the link right here on this page to go buy it right now. Shoot our Gear Geeks line, cs or revzilla.com or 877-792-9455 if you have any fit or technical questions. And remember, we ship for free, no restock fees if you need to send it back to us. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you got some great information. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.